from underneath him, divorced him, and since he got married in California, had to pay his ex alimony for life since the marriage made it to the 10 year mark. He had to start all over in life. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another subscriber email story. Guys, if you want to send in a story, send it to True Story Nation at gmail.com. Here, I'll put it on the screen. That's True Story Nation at gmail.com. You guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, the man I took care of who nearly died of divorce. Oh, man. Hey True, I haven't emailed you any content in a while. I emailed you back in July telling my story about how becoming red pill aware revealed the truth that my mom cheated on my dad over the years, I remember you, when she would go on girls night outs and girl trips to Vegas while my blue pill father played the happy wife, happy life role. Today I have a story about a 53 year old man I took care of bedside in a hospital, one night who nearly died from the fallout getting divorced. He was admitted to the hospital for alcohol withdrawal and pneumonia. During his second day of hospitalization, he developed bad diarrhea, a clinical manifestation of serious alcohol withdrawal, refractory to therapy. Dangers of having frequent diarrhea is electrolyte depletion, particularly in potassium, which when out of balance can cause your heart to quiver instead of beat. When this happened to this man, he was in cardiac arrest and received CPR. His life was saved and subsequently transferred to intense care where he spent one week on a ventilator in a medically induced coma. He recovered enough to be transferred back down to the floor I worked on and was assigned to me. Luckily, prompt treatment in action by the nurses, respiratory therapists, and doctors that day spared him major brain damages where his cognitive ability was maintained with intact memory. After developing a rapport with him during the night, he and I got to talking when I was asking when I was asking him about his past and what he did for work. He worked as a computer programmer and was making 150k per year, owned a home, had no debt, and was saving to buy rental property. After asking him how alcohol became an addiction nearly leading to his death, he told me he was never much of a drinker. He had his life together financially, was in shape, and had what he felt to be strong marriage of 12 years to the woman of his dreams. All that came crashing down when she pulled out the rug from underneath him, divorced him, and since he got married in California, had to pay his ex alimony for life since the marriage made it to the 10-year mark. Wow. For life. Oh, man. Not only that, she got to keep his home and moved her boyfriend in. The lawyer's fees drained his savings. He had to start all over in life. Was renting a room and was struggling to get out of debt while paying an absurd amount of spousal support. The burden of all of this led him to alcohol as a coping mechanism, to the fact his confidence had been destroyed. He felt emasculated as he suspected his ex-wife was cheating on him, though couldn't prove it, and was too much of a nice guy to challenge her on it. And he really was a nice guy too, from my perspective. The way he handled himself being my patient was respectful, polite, and trying to accommodate me, even though my job as a nurse is to accommodate him. Add all that to his stature, he was only about 5 foot 7, was, was horseshoe pattern bald with a, with a beer gut. Again, Though he was short, he at least was in shape prior to the fallout of the financial ruin following the divorce. Anyway, he was a very pleasant and easy patient to care for. He got me thinking about, is it worth it? He said that he felt blindsided by divorce. He did everything for her. She, did, she didn't bring anything to the table in their relationship other than her looks. He provided for her. And for what? To lose it all when she decides to bail on him for a bigger, better deal? I do not understand how men take the leap of faith. Put their finances on the craps table to marry a woman who is incentivized to break a marriage contract where she gets paid in the back end under no-fault divorce. 
Even at-fault states carry a concerning probability the man will still take an L in divorce. Even at-fault states carry a concerning probability the man will take an L in the divorce. In the end, I cried on the inside for this man. His pain was visible on his face as he had 1,000 yard stare when he would look me in the eye and speak to me. Though his eye contact was weak, he looked like a defeated man who once had a bright future. Then was praying mantis for his for his assets only to be split out the three years old, bald, short, beer gut, and diseased heart minus all the assets he worked so hard for. Men, is it worth it? Wow, let me give my thoughts. It's sad, man. You know, you're asking the question and I ask the question all the time. And you guys know my answer for it, man. You know how I feel about it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. This man bust his butt his whole life to make a high earning, to have his life together. He stayed in shape and he ruined it and had it taken away, had it taken away from him by a woman who played the waiting game. She married him for his money and for what he, what he had. Played the waiting game and left him for who she actually wanted and left with his money. This man is in the hospital. He's hurt. He's down. She's sleeping like a baby in the house that he owned and that she moved her boyfriend into. She's sleeping like a baby every night. She's shopping and taking vacations with his alimony. She's she's buying gifts for her new boyfriend with her ex-husband's alimony while her ex-husband is in the hospital, guys. Think about that. Think about that. All he did for that woman. Look how she repays him. He asked the question here, is it worth it? I ask the question all the time, is it worth it? you ask me no it's not it's not worth it no relationships no marriage guys let me know what you think about this in the comments i appreciate you sending this story in man thanks um guys if you're new here i'm going to go ahead and attach a flashback story that being said i'll catch you guys at the next one after taking the rp I am certain my mom cheated on my dad for years. Do I bring this up now that she is in her late 60s? Oh, man. Hey, Drew, before I get into my story, I just need to say, I love your channel and recommend it to all my friends who don't understand female nature and are prone to taking the leap of faith towards divorce. Well, salute, man. I appreciate that, man. I'm, I'm glad you like the channel. I, I really appreciate that, man. That means a lot. Thanks. And thanks for sharing it, man. That's that's wow. In fact, since September 2020, after realizing I've I have always been red pilled at my core, only a, un, only unaware of my blue pill blindfold. The blindfold came off after discovering your channel and all the other Manosphere channels out there. Keep up the good work. You help men who desperately need to wake up and unplug from the matrix. There is a conviction to your voice and passion for your purpose that truly stands out and keeps me a captive student. Anyways, this story isn't about me as I always had multiple women, even in my early 20s, before I established my career and made my money. So one-itis has never hindered my ability to hold masculine frame with the women in my life. I am 35 now make $105,000 per year, have assets, and was lucky to be born six foot tall and got my body to fitness model level. So this story is about my mom. Though I don't have proof of her infidelity as I was a naive boy at the time, I am certain she cheated on my dad countless times. I consider myself an expert on the signs of a cheater after all the Manosphere content I have consumed and all the signs of cheating spouses applied to my mom. Girls night out and coming home at 2 a.m. smelling like cigarettes, going to happy hour frequently, 
Girls weekends in Vegas, girls weekends in Palm Springs were all things my mom did often from when I was about age five until about age 20. My mom has always stayed in, in impeccable shape, even when she was in her 40s and 50s, but especially in her 30s. So I know guys were checking her out, especially at the gym. One time I recall her asking my dad if he was okay if a guy from her gym, Jose, took her to the movies. And my dad stupidly allowed it. What? I know darn well what, what was on Jose's mind because the truth is, if there was no chance at sex, a guy would not waste his time and money taking a woman to the movies. Now, my sister and I resemble my dad, so I know he is my father, though my older brother, not so much. We even joked many times that he could be my half-brother. My mom also has a dark past. She reluctantly admitted to me when the show Breaking Bad was, was hot that she and her friends were doing meth in the early 90s for several years. Whoa. She mentioned going to drug dealers drug dealer's house at the peak of her addiction and even took me there a handful of times though I vaguely remember because I was very young she beat that addiction thank God yeah thank God she did man and I'm glad nothing happened to you oh the carelessness taking your child to a place like that wow but how irresponsible to take your young kids to a dealer's house to score a bag of meth absolutely just like I said Anyway, selfish behavior is my mom, to a T. She worked sparsely, and it was my dad who brought home the bacon. The money mom made was for her, not us. Mm, mm, mm. On to my dad. My dad was a nice guy, and that was his problem. Always subservient to my mom, making her his sole purpose. She would scream and yell at him, plus order him around like a lap dog subordinate in front of me and I'd watch him take it like a true beta who doesn't wear the pants in the house he paid for. Several times I told him to stand up for himself and he quietly told me to shut up and gave me that happy wife happy life BS though he truly did not look happy saying that. My mom had a friend Donna and her husband Rick who had a bigger house in a nicer neighborhood with a swimming pool in their large backyard. At times, my mom would bring things up that Rick was doing to make more money, and my dad hated that and hated Rick. My mom took me, my brother, and sister to their house often as kids during the summer to go swimming, and my dad never went once. He always stayed behind, and I understand why. My mom was disrespecting him, and that hurt. Yeah. So what do I do? Though I don't have proof of her cheating, she is allergic to accountability like most women and would just deny it if I bring it up anyway. It is unsettling as hell though, and my mom and I are not on the greatest terms, as it is. They are still together. My dad is 71, and my mom is 67, and seem fairly happy together in old age. I absolutely will not bring this up to my dad. This is more for my mom. I just want to ask her what went on during all those girls' night outs she often went to, and all the girls' trips to Vegas and Palm Springs. I want her to know I know. Would this even do any good? Need advice on if this is even worth confronting my mom with this late. What do you think? Also, my dad has to know she was cheating, right? Because somehow I doubt he truly does. Wow, let me give my thoughts on this. You and I both know, bro. You and I both know. Yeah, she was cheating. She definitely was cheating, man. Um, she definitely did exactly what she wanted to do in the relationship because she knew she could get away with it. The thing is, if, if, say you went to her, you guys are just having a casual conversation and reminiscing. And you're like, mom, be honest with me. You know, I don't know. You guys having a drink or whatever. I don't know. Mom, be honest with me. All those times. Cause I, I, you know, I saw how you treated dad growing up. I saw how dad was when I don't believe a man should be that way in his family. He should be the head of his household, blah, 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 whatever. Mom, did you ever cheat on dad? Just be honest. And at her old age, she might keep it real with you. She might. I don't know. She might still just be like, no, I've never. I would never. You know, she may, but there's a chance she may tell you. But 
me and you both know the signs are there. You know, the signs are there. She definitely was cheating. She went to the movies with some guy from the gym. A lot of people in the gym sleep with each other. A lot of people meet and hook up in the gym. We, we know what went down. You know what went down. We all know what went down. And dad, I feel bad for dad. Maybe dad did know the whole time and he just didn't care. You know, maybe there's a reason he felt so down on himself and he, 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 he allowed someone to disrespect him for years. You know, there's a chance your older brother may not be his. That happens a lot. We all know this. So, man, um, it's, it's, it's really up to you. Like, if you just, me personally, okay, if I was in your shoes, I would ask my mom at 67, and we went through, I went through the same exact life you went through. I would ask her just hanging out or whatever or chilling and relaxing and we're talking and reminiscing. I'd, I'd ask her just to see what she said. And if she, if she lies, I was like, come on, mom. I we're come on. I'm grown, mom. Come on. What happened? What'd you do? Tell me, you know what I'm saying? I'll say it just like that and just try to just to see. But we know we know she did. I really appreciate this email, man. I really enjoyed this. I really uh, I didn't I don't enjoy the fact that your father had to deal with that and go through that. But I like I like this story. I, I like I like this uh, point of view and you telling it from your point of view, seeing your parents grow up. It's a really good email, man. I appreciate it. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Should he tell his mom? What do you think? Do you think his father knew? What do you think? Let us know in the comments.